when Nipsey Hussle died, um, not this sun last Sunday, but the Sunday before that, about thing was up, um, ten days ago. A lot of people got on YouTube, got on social media, started saying, um, R.I.P. Nipsey Hussle, R.I.P. Yes, I'm heartbroken. This was wrong. Okay, so for someone, nothing wrong with that. But here's the issue that I have. You know, you have people making videos about a man that normally don't make videos talking about that certain, certain stuff like that. Saying, R.I.P. Nipsey Hussle, this was wrong. And a lot of people were doing it because it was a trending topic and they were doing it to boost their channel ratings up. And, and that's fine. I mean, and people did that. Okay. And a lot of people... Don't know Nipsey Hussle from a can of paint. And what they're doing is. They're following a trend. Oh R.I.P. Nipsey. This is wrong. I am devastated. Wait a minute. Some of you haven't even heard of the man. And y'all doing videos like y'all knew him. Some of y'all feel heartbroken. Now I'm not saying that certain people didn't know him. And certain people didn't follow his music. I'm not. And, and follow what he did. But you have most people. Just making videos to get their YouTube numbers up. And I think it's a disservice because some of y'all never even heard of that man. Let alone rap a line in his songs or know what he did for the community. Because you have these clout chasers that, you know, they just want to get online. Then you have people getting online saying that, oh, he's the one that shot him. And this, I'm like, Really? Y'all, you, y'all, you, this man dies and gets killed and all some people worrying about is getting their YouTube numbers up. That's what some people are worrying about. And another thing I, I'm going to talk about, you know, I've seen it the whole week and I not only did one video by a five minute video talk about Nipsey Hussle, you know, was shot and killed. Now, I've heard of him. I'm not going to say I haven't heard of him. I've heard of him. You know, I've known what he has done. I know that he was married to Lauren London. I know that. But you have people talking about it was a conspiracy. Somebody put a hit out on the man. A white man would, A white man did it. A white man dressed in blackface shot this man. He died because he was doing a Dr. CB, Sabiak documentary. And, and and I'm asking you, the white man, white supremacy killed Nipsey Hussle. And, and I'm asking, and, and let me ask you this, the people who are saying that. Were you there? Where are you getting your information? Where are you getting your sources? Or are you just making stuff up as you go along? See, some people don't use critical thinking skills. They don't think for themselves. They sit there and what they do, they follow a, a, a popular YouTuber, popular, popular YouTuber, and whatever that YouTuber says... They go along with it and they piggyback off of that. Oh, it was a conspiracy hit. Oh, he was an agent. He was an FBI informant. How do you know that? Where did you get your information? Where did you get it? It was stated that Eric Holder, you know, allegedly shot and killed Nipsey Hussle. Now, I was talking to somebody that I work with, and um, he told me a few things that went on with that. Now, I'm not going to reveal it because I'm not, I don't know what, what it is, and I have to 
see some things before I can put this on video and start making claims that I allegedly heard. So I'm not going to just go there and just put stuff out there that I don't haven't looked into and I haven't done much research in. But he said he will send me some videos of some things that happen. And when he do, I'll look at it, I'll investigate it, and then, you know, I'll share it with y'all. But here's the thing. See, we in the black community want to sit here and want to talk about racism. You want to talk about white supremacy. You want to talk about oppression. And is there racism in here? Yes, there is. You're damn right there is. Is there a, is black people being oppressed? You're damn right they are. You know, is there white supremacy? Yes, there is white supremacy. But we have another problem in the community. And a lot of people are not going to focus on it because they'll sit there and they'll focus on the other thing. They'll focus on white supremacy. They'll focus on racism. They said racism is the reason why Nipsey Hussle got shot and killed. But you have a section of black people that can't stand to see another black person be successful. They can't stand to see another black person make it. Okay. And this is why I say sometimes we as a community are sometimes we're backwards sometimes. We're so backwards. This guy made it, came out into the hood, start building businesses in his hood, in his community. Gave people jobs. And then you got some jealous person, a savage, come out here and take this man's life. Man took a father away, took a husband away, took a brother away, took friend, took a friend away. And this is what we do. See that, that see this is the problem. You can focus on racism, you can focus on white supremacy, but a lot of people will will not stand to hold each other accountable for their actions they will sit here they will blame oh no uh, uh eric Holder didn't do it oh uh, it was a, a white man that did it they because like i said in their mind black people can't do no wrong if a black person makes a mistake it's because of racism it's because of the white man's fault we will never hold each other accountable We'll go out here, we'll do drive-by shootings and hit and, and kill innocent grandmoms, grandfatherly women, we'll kill innocent little children, and what they'll hit, you know what they'll do? They'll blame white supremacy. They'll blame a, a white man for it. Now you know, if a white man would have went out there and killed that guy, it would be an all-out race war because of that. Okay, South Central, South Los Angeles will be lit up right now. So don't don't hand me that. Don't hand me that. Some people don't think. They just, you know, they make excuses. When are we going to start holding each other accountable for our actions? Okay, and you wonder why certain celebrities don't come back to their hood when they make it. Because you got to deal with that. You got to deal with the jealousy. You got to deal with the nonsense. You got to deal with people looking for you. If I was in his spot, if I was in his situation, I would have two armored uh, bodyguards with me. Because I know how some people are. Okay, this man opens up his own business. And and it, and this is another thing and I want to talk about. And you know, we open up our own businesses. We have our businesses open up black owned business and then when people go into the store and when they want to buy something, this is what they say. Say if I open up a business and if I sold the shirt, 
my shirts cost twenty five dollars and somebody come in here and say you know what I, i'll um come on man i'll give you 15 for it and say i give him 15 for it the next person comes in my shirts are 25 dollars no nah, i'll give you 15 come on can't you this is what we want we want a discount with everything just because it's a black owned business we want a discount We don't want to support nobody because we don't want to pay full price. But you will go into these other white-owned stores, the Prada, the Gucci, the Tommy Hilfiger, the Ralph Lauren, and you will pay four or $500 for stuff. You will pay $120 for some pair of sneakers. But you will not go and support your brother. You want a hometown discount. And see, that's the problem. Okay, how are you willing to make money if you expect to keep giving out discounts to everybody just because you want to be down for the cause? No. At the end of the day, you're a businessman. You're in business to make money. Why would you always want somebody to give you half off? Then they're not making any money and they're spending two, three hundred dollars, three hundred thousand dollars for inventory and you selling everything half price, they're going to go out of business before the year is out. But a lot of people don't think. They don't think long term. They just think, oh, it's a black owned business. Oh, I can, I, he should give us a discount. And if I give him a discount, I got to give everybody else a discount or I'm, I'm the bad guy. But you will go pay full price. And pay more money for white-owned stuff. And then if they treat you bad, if they disrespect you and kick you out their store, you call them racism. Call call it racist. Call it white supremacy. Newsflash, they've always been racist. True story about Tommy Hilfiger. Tommy Hilfiger didn't want black people wearing his stuff. But then he said at the end of the day, you know what? If they're wearing my stuff and if they're making me money, that's fine. I don't want to have nothing to do with them. I don't want to deal with them. I don't want to be around them. But if they buy my stuff and making me money, that's fine. Y'all didn't know that. See, most of these high-end products are racist. But y'all will still go and support people. And support these people. Okay, because we have to feel good about ourselves by wearing the expensive jeans. When I was in school, you would get clowned in school if you didn't have a pair of guest jeans on. And guest jeans around that time was like the hottest brand. I think guest jeans and Jabos. Jabos was out during the time I graduated high school and I started working. That's when they were, I think around 2003, 2004. I guess it was around 2001, 2002. And then Jabol started getting popular 03, 04, 05. And then after that, you had True Religion and everything like that. You know. It was a, when I was in high school, it was a fashion show. People judged you based on what you wore. You know, people judge you based on what you wore. And they would clown you if you didn't have on the latest fashion. They would clown you if you didn't have a hundred and fifteen dollar pair of sneakers. They would clown you. And 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 I said to myself, you can go to Walmart and get yourself a pair of jeans. And I'd be fine because at the end of the day, I'm not there to impress anybody. And I think it's gotten a little better. I don't know because I haven't been in school in years. I don't know if it's gotten a little better or not. But people will judge you based on what you have on. And if you didn't have on the latest brand, you would get clowned. And then people would spend excess amount of money 
on buying clothes so they wouldn't be clown. And buying those clothes will help boost their self-esteem for some people. And people, you know, it was crazy when I was in school. Like, we are so, you know, controlled by fashion. We are so controlled by material things. It's not even funny. And then another thing that I, I want to talk about. And this is going a little bit off topic. All this nonsense about somebody being lame or somebody being square. Here's the thing. Getting bad grades in school for some people is an accomplishment for them. You can't be smart in school because if you're smart in school, black people, some certain people will look at you and say, you are lame, you are nerd. That's what certain people will say. Okay, if you don't use slang, if you talk proper, you sound white. And I'm saying to myself, what is talking white? So I'm sub- so when you go into a job interview, you supposed to uh, wear baggy jeans and your pants sagging off, your underwear showing, you're wearing a, a 4 or 5X t-shirt. So th- that's how you're going to go into a job interview? Looking like that? Wearing hip-hop clothes? When you go to a job interview, you're supposed to be business-like. Casual. Business casual. That's what you're supposed to do. Not going in there with your pants sagging down, talking on that slang. No, you're supposed to be professional. Now, once you get out of there and you get the job, all right, you can do whatever you want to do because you have to play the part. But we don't want to play the part. We want to sit here and we want to, you know, be reckless and we want to be fools, be foolish with what we do. And this is why we don't get anywhere. Okay, if I'm raised by a mother and a father, I'm a lame. You're a nerd because you wasn't raised by a single parent. You wasn't raised by a ratchet, a ratchet mom. She didn't have four or five men coming up into the crib. Oh, no. If you if you are raised like that, then that's a badge of honor. But if you were raised the right way, mother and father told you from right from wrong what you shouldn't do and what you should not do. Oh, you're lame. You're born. You're corny. And this is why we have problems. Okay. How could some people. How could some people sit here and be happy about and and really, you know, promote single parent households, single mothers without no fathers? How can some people promote that? Now, listen, if the relationship is not working, if the marriage is not working, that's one thing. But when you have people out there that's promoting it, saying, I don't need a man to raise my child. And then when that child gets out of control, and then when that child gets stopped by the cops, and that cops, you know, start putting bullets in his back, and the first thing you'll be doing is screaming, screaming, and screaming, and getting all wild up. Because at the end of the day, now, not all single mothers are bad. I'm not saying all single mothers are bad. So don't sit there and get all bent out and say, well, you said all single mothers are bad. No, all single mothers are not bad. You have some good single mothers out there that raise their kids right and that are strong people to raise their kids right. And I applaud them for that. But you should not be promoting single parenthood. You shouldn't be promoting that. And all Nipsey was trying to do was try to end the violence in this community. A good man and he ends up being killed for trying to help out people. He ends up being killed for trying to, you know, end the gang violence. 
That's what. Okay. I'm telling you. Every time we have somebody that's trying to do good by some by, by someone, they end up getting taken away. Because you have some that are racist will do it, and then you'll have other people that are just jealous and can't stand to see nobody happy. They want to take them out. And for what? And and this to me it's just crazy. But we don't want to hold nobody accountable. We always want to blame a white person for somebody getting killed when you know that that person did it. And this is not a bash on black people, bash on black men, bash on black women. But people need to wake up and start holding and being accountable for what their actions. And stop blaming another group of people for something. Be accountable for your action. We don't want to be held accountable. We want to blame even when you have crime in the black community. And innocent children, innocent babies getting gunned down. You can't talk about that. Because it seems to me, black life only matters when... It's when they're being and people get all black life only matters when it's done by a white person than when our own people getting killed by our own community. Oh, what matters when white people do it. But if it's done by black people, us, oh, it don't matter. We go on about our day like it means nothing. We go on about our day. Oh, OK, black person did. Oh, what? This, this is how this is how it seems. And it needs to stop. I'm not going to come on YouTube and talk about white supremacy. I'm not doing that all the time. Yeah, other people talk about white supremacy on every single video. And, and, and that's fine. That's their platform. They can do whatever they want to do. It's their platform. But me, I don't need to talk about white supremacy all the time. Because I know it exists. And cherry picking every little story, every little racist story. What are we doing about it? We ain't doing nothing about it anyway. We continue to go to these stores after we've been disrespected. So w w come on. You keep showing the videos. You're not doing anything about it. You're still going there. Begging. It's crazy. But I'm sorry this video went long. Leave uh, a comment. Like the video. And subscribe to this um, YouTube channel.